U.S. 96.3 Country 716. It's Scott Steele in the morning, and we are live from the lobby of the Batson Hospital for Children. Ten years ago, a radiothon at the Batson Hospital was unheard of. Today, it's one of the most anticipated events of the year, though everyone's reaction is not the same. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm... Some burst out in song. Others talk back to the radio. Here I is, T-U-V, W-X-Y-N-Z, now I know my ABCs. And occasionally the excitement is just too much to handle. This is my first radio thon. And you seem to be losing your voice. On the first day and I'm losing my voice already, yes. <laughs> but nonetheless, the show must go on. And for a decade it has, as DJs from Radio People Stations in Jackson make the lobby of the state's only children's hospital their home for 39 hours, over three days in March. I love you more than Mississippi Braves baseball. Oh, wow. That's way up there. <laughs> That's way up there. That's way up there. How's it going? We're making miracles happen today at Blairy Batson Children's Hospital. What, uh, you kicked off at uh, 6 a.m.? 6 a.m., bright and early. The sun was shining. And you have all the Jackson stations here. Yes, we do. All three, Mix 98, US 96, and Y101. I got up about 4 o'clock this morning and we finished about seven, so I'm gonna hang in there. Long day. Long day. How important is coffee today? Uh, pretty important <laughs> when you're here this early in the morning. Uh, did you hear the first hour of the show this morning? <laughs> Coffee's very important. Okay, today in Batson Hospital we have 200 kids. That means 200 little kids that are missing school, that aren't at home with their parents, that are stuck here in this hospital, great though it may be. Um, 76 of those babies are in our neonatal intensive care unit. We have 31 kids coming up here for some sort of surgery, any number of things. It could be to get ear tubes, it could be a major heart surgery, it could be to get their tonsils out. Um, we have 14 kids that are in the pediatric intensive care unit today. That means 14 children are so sick that they need round-the-clock care and monitoring. Tenth year, it's just hard to believe it, it's already the tenth year. What a, what a great time. What a, I just, it's my three favorite days of the year. Is it uh, more difficult being away from the, from the office? Or no, you, something actually, like... because, you know, usually you in the mornings you're by call? yourself in a box. No. And here I have all of the people from Batson and my coworkers and stuff like that. And we get to see some of the kids and wave at the families as they walk by on their way into the hospital to do their daily routine. This is special for us. For them, this is what they do every day. So it's, it's really, a, it, it's kind of, um, it gives you a whole new perspective on things. So y'all are listening to it up here? Of course. Of course we are. It's great. Do you normally listen to the radio during the day or is it a special day? It's a special day. We listen, we got it out just for this occasion. What's it mean that they're down there doing this? It's wonderful. The kids are so pleased. Everything's, it's really cool. It's really cool that they're doing that. You uh, looking forward to going on the radio? Yes. Have you ever been on the radio? How old are you, Griffin? Five. I'm not four anymore. Wow. Well, Griffin was born with spina bifida and has neurogenic bladder and bowel. So we've had several surgeries here, and we will be continuing to see the doctors here until adulthood. Um, every time we've come back, it's, it's an amazing experience. Because the hospital treats patients from all of Mississippi's 82 counties, the Mississippi Miracles Radiothon also airs on radio people's stations in Meridian. Patients and families tell their stories live in studio there or via Skype from Batson. It means that his liver does not produce enough enzymes to break down the oxalate in certain foods and therefore it causes kidney stones. One in every thousand kids are diagnosed with the genetic uh, condition that he has. Long hours. I've been location. here since 9 a.m. and it's now 10 till 7, so <laughs> long day. Nice to see everybody. Always good to see everybody. How was uh, day one? Day one, good. Good. Still got energy. Just enough to go get in the bed. Like riding a bicycle, you know what to do? Yeah. You know what? <laughs> we, we all know. We all know what to do around here. That's a great thing. These people here are... Uh, they just make things very easy. All we have to do is 
show up and uh, turn the microphones on. That is it. It's the first day. It's always the first day the longest. When you wake up at 4.45 in the morning and you're working until 7 o'clock at night. But you know what? This little girl right here always brings an array of energy to this whole area. And it's little kids like her, it's little you know boys and girls like her that give us the energy to do this. And it's, it's a great thing. Say, double your dollars! Double your dollars! To learn more about the Radiothon or to donate, go to childrenshospital.umc.edu. Hey, it's John Anthony, back live from the lobby of the Bleary Batson Children's Hospital, 3.04 in the afternoon, our first day.